Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, Frost has done it again. You remember when? You remember when this happened? Sexism in gaming. Yeah, so that whole sexism in gaming rant uh, went down really well with G4, didn't it? Frost came out and she said, uh, "Sexism in gaming. I'm gonna talk about how I've come to G4. I'm gonna change the whole, the whole platform, the whole thing, the whole way you go, we go about it." And then co-host Adam Sessler <laughs> went off and started saying about how he wishes that his Republican or Trump supporting family members would not be here. Let's just say that. After that, she also went and said this. Without a doubt, there will be backlash because I'm not as bangable as the previous host. It has somehow been expected that you can talk about how much you jerked off to women as a compliment. That it's weird. not a compliment. It's weird. Now, during that same speech, she also said this. Women do not exist to be nice on the eyes for you. Morgan Webb, Olivia Munn did not exist to be nice on the eyes for you. She's saying that the previous host, Morgan Webb, Olivia Munn, didn't exist to be nice on the eyes for you. So G4 went and turned it around and said, okay, we're going to do this new stuff. We're going to go on Twitch. We're going to have um, some potential view botting issues, which you can check out on Ryan Kinnell's channel. I'll link it here. After all this happened, People are saying, well, G4's views are looking like they're going down. G4's numbers are going way down. I don't know, I don't know how they're gonna recover from this. Turns out they had a show where they brought on Amaranth. Yep, Amaranth, that same Amaranth who's on Twitch, who always stands around in a bikini in a hot tub. Sexism in gaming. Wow, let's see what's inside here. Let's see if there's Oh my oh. god! Oh my god! Oh my god, it's Amaranth! It's a woman! How much is she? Oh my god! So you can see her there in a ball pit in a bikini with the G4 logo right there, playing with balls. Oh, look at that. Yeah, okay. This speaks to the hypocrisy of G4. They want to come out and say, Sexism in gaming. Women do not exist to be nice on the eyes for you. We're turning this around and we're going to make this a, a wholesome channel or whatever, I don't know. Whatever she said. And now, to come out and have Amaranth in a ball pit with a bikini on is peak hypocrisy from G4. They have done a complete 180. But it's not just the hypocrisy from G4 that's an issue. It's also that Frost came out on Twitter and she said this. People making straight up lies to defame my character because it's easier to justify their random hate boner that way. Wild. So she claims she's never been fired. I haven't seen anyone claim that. Maybe someone has on Twitter, but I haven't seen it. She says she works really hard and makes her teams pleasant. Okay. Stands up for marginalized voices. Advocates for peers and colleagues. Okay, well, I'm not talking about that. What I said was this. Now, nah, just asking you to stand up for your position on sexism in gaming and G4 TV bring in women in bikinis who look nice on the eyes, or don't you actually believe that? Does she actually stand by what she said here? That's more of an issue what I've got with her because you're making this claim that sexism in gaming is terrible. It's never okay. Do not objectify women. We're not going to do it at G4. You shouldn't do it either in the audience. Um, okay, but G4 was built on that basically back in uh, the day when Olivia Munn was doing some things which I've shown before in previous videos. And now you have Amaranth sitting in a ball pit looking up at these guys juggling with balls. Now if you see here from one of my previous videos, Frost actually nuked her Twitter, cleaned out socials and got several messages asking if I was hacked. All is well, just had it for close to forever and decided on a spring cleaning. She actually deleted all her Twitter interactions because... It said, I will speak to any YouTubers, and then she kind of reneged on that offer. Super excited to get on a call with these people and watch them backpedal. And now she's silent. She is absolutely silent on what G4 is doing. So let's watch this clip that I put together from that stream that they put on G4. Just see how they're, how well they're treating women and what I actually had to say. Iron Mouse, 30 pounds! <laughs> God. So yeah, that's what uh, I said. Quality content from G4 TV. Frost would be proud of how well they're treating women. And I also put uh, another tweet. When you're not as bangable as the previous or new hosts. That's what she said in her initial rant. G4 has done a heel turn. They've gone all the way back to what they were well known for back in the day. Because after Frost said what she said in her rant, all their numbers went down. And now she's coming out and trying to claim that people are lying to defame her. Maybe people have said something on Twitter. But what I'm asking for, if you have such a strong position about sexism in gaming and where you want the company to go, how you want the brand to project itself, well, I want to hear what you have to say about this. If that is such a strong position that you hold, 
Why have you not said a damn thing about it? If that is so offensive to you to have women in bikinis who look nice on the eyes, do you actually believe what you said in your position about sexism and gaming? Because if you do, why are you so silent? Thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share this video out there and we'll see you in the next one. If you don't like it, don't watch it. Peace.